Well, as uh, you may or may not have seen in the other video, all this crap was still on there and it was still an actual like camper trailer. But now I have taken it off and everybody kept telling me those wheel wells are too thin and you're never going to fit anything between them. But as you can see, this uh, standard size riding mower, even with the deck on it, still has plenty of room on both sides. So yes, I can. I can fit uh, things between those wheel wells and I clearly just did so it's a definitely a work in progress I've pretty much got a chain um, I haven't welded it I just bolted it together down there for now but I was gonna weld it to the actual frame so I got a chain to strap onto on the front and same deal on the back I got a, a chain to strap onto on the back This one's bolted down there, I haven't welded that one yet. And I was planning on putting probably a couple on the sides so I could strap on uh, sideways too if I needed to. Um, so I got ratchet straps on front and back of this mower to secure it down. So that's uh, definitely not going anywhere. And in order to uh, lift either machines that won't run or the heavy things or whatever, um, there's actually a winch already on here i'm probably gonna end up replacing this cable because a it's not long enough and b it's pretty old and torn up so that cable is probably gonna have to be replaced but for now i just have it a loop on the front there so i can hook it onto something and uh, pull up whatever i need to nice little box up here dirty right now but I can hold the ratchet straps and the handle for this and whatever else I want to in here. And when it closes, it actually closes. It's actually a tight fit. So that's not going anywhere. That's not going to open. I've actually got this cranked pretty much all the way up. Uh, so that way I could put uh, these ramps on here. Now I don't know if I'm going to just carry these ramps with me or create some sort of slide out ramps or what I'm gonna do uh, because when this thing is sitting level it's actually a little high up for something just to just to roll on so I'll have to figure out something with that and uh, in order to make this legal I'll have to pretty much uh, wire in tail lights and turn signals and running lights and stuff and uh, that's all really easy stuff to do I just gotta go by the lights and the wiring so, knowing me, I'll probably change this up like eight more times before I actually finish it, but this is where we're at now, and it's actually functional as a trailer right now.